New Game Plus for God of War Ragnarok is finally here and it brings new gear, upgrades and way more to spice up your second playthrough. We will go over everything you need to know about this free update in this video, a like would really help us out, subscribe for more God of War Ragnarok content and let's go. So New Game Plus is accessed through the main menu, you just pick the save slot you want to use for your New Game Plus save and then select the difficulty. And the New Game Plus features already start here as the two highest difficulties, Give Me No Mercy and Give Me God of War have received new gameplay mechanics in your second playthrough. Enemies that have taken damage can now charge themselves up and raise their power level in Give Me No Mercy, a feature previously saved for the highest difficulty in the game. So smart to attack an enemy as soon as you see them charging up so they don't become more powerful. And in both the No Mercy and God of War difficulties, all bosses and mini bosses now have a runic shield that temporarily makes them immune to stagger from runic attacks. It seems to activate when you stagger multiple times in quick succession so you can't spam your attacks and keep a boss locked in place. Some bosses like the Berserkers already had this in the main game, but I was caught off guard a couple of times by this new mechanic in the Thor fight, so it makes sure you are not completely destroying bosses with your endgame gear. But it is of course amazing to do these early fights with all the gear we gathered over the course of our first playthrough. Unleashing the drop near spear and the hilt of Skoftung on these early bosses is really a lot of fun and you keep pretty much everything you earn throughout your first playthrough, including your gear, skills, resources and progression on your labors. Only the Sonic and Runic arrows have to be unlocked again, which of course makes sense as they're also used as a solution in puzzles. While you already have access to the drop near spear early, you cannot use it to get past the drop near related obstacles early as these are blocked by some kind of windshield, presumably until you forge the spear a second time. Now even though you start the game out with all your old equipment, you will be wearing a new set of armor at the start of New Game Plus. Because right from the get go you are equipped with the armor of the Black bear which is the must requested cloaked version of Kratos' armor that he only used at the start of the game even though he's wearing it on the box art too. So while first it would get removed during your early fight with Freya, now during that same quick time event you keep the cloak on and can use it through the rest of the game. It's more than just a visual though as it also comes with a brand new perk. We will be trying it more and go in depth on the perks and other new items in a future video so totally subscribe to not miss more God of War coverage. And even if you don't end up enjoying this new perk, you can of course immediately apply this badass cloaked look to any of your level 9 armor pieces thanks to Transmog. There's also good news if you're simply interested in the gameplay and don't want to re-experience the full story again, because in New Game Plus you can skip cutscenes. Doing so will take you through a short loading screen and immediately put you back in control of Kratos. Some smaller scenes like lifting the locks for Faye or fixing the realm door with Brock and Sindri cannot be skipped but you don't have to wait for some of the longer conversations at the start of the game if you want to get to Swartalfheim as soon as possible. Although I personally really recommend going through the game twice and see all the new details you can catch but if you want to skip ahead the option is there. And there are some really exciting gameplay changes waiting for you once you reach Sindri's house and get access to a blacksmith. For starters there is a new shield you can buy called the Spartan Aspis. Visually it looks like the Aspis of Spartan Rage from the previous game which was unlocked by completing God of War 2018 on the highest difficulty. This time around however However, you can simply buy it for 7500 hack silver, which you probably already have at this point. It has some interesting perks that change the familiar gameplay of the Guardian Shield up a bit. Again, want to try it a bit more and discuss it in depth in the next video, but already pairing it with a drop near spear really makes Kratos return to his Spartan roots. And if you really want to go all the way, the three other armor sets that were added with New Game Plus all have a Greek theme as well, with two of them being immediately available at your first blacksmith visit. The Spartan armor gives you this bare chested look and it even removes the bracers to show Kratos' past scars. This one is really for the hardcore players as it remains stuck on level 1 and gives you no perks or a stat boost. There's also a set of weapon attachments with the same idea for if you want to give yourself even more of a challenge. Since the armor is stuck at level 1, Transmog is not an option but you can apply this look to other armor pieces if you want to unleash Kratos' abs. But if you're looking for some Greek themed armor, the Ares set is also immediately available for purchase if you have the hack silver, which should be easy enough to gather in New Game Plus as even the small chest in the beginning of the game now give you somewhere between 8 and 10,000 hack silver. You need 58,000 in total to buy this amazing red and gold armor. It was also part of the New Game Plus mode for God of War 2018, although I prefer Ragnarok's updated look. Really dig the demonic skulls on the shoulder and the Greek patterns on the loincloth. And the final new piece of armor, the Zeus armor, is unlocked by defeating the Valkyrie Na and completing certain remnants of 
Asgard in New Game Plus. If anyone's crazy enough to have pulled that off yet, please let us know in the comments or reach out via input at uraptor.com, Twitter or Instagram. We would love to highlight it in a future video for if we haven't reached that point yet. But you shouldn't forget about your old armor sets either as these can now be made much more powerful as well. Right Jordan? Yes, it's pretty crazy but real quick I want to touch on something else because what's interesting is that the first lost and found chest that you open near a blacksmith seems to give you some items that you missed during your first playthrough. So if you did not bother with the Odin Ravens, so did not get the full Raven tier armor set, or did not do the side quest, or opened every chest in the open world, then you still get these items, which is kind of great. Also great are the brand new appearances you can buy, which are reskins of these familiar sets, with sometimes a cool visual effect, which I really like. And as someone who loves red, there are a ton of great variants that you can rock. So after buying a new appearance for 20,000 hex silver, which again you can get very easily, you can then immediately find the new skin in the transmog feature for items that are level 9 and up. And if you already got gear items on level 9 before you enter New Game Plus, they can immediately see the 4 new upgrade levels after reaching Sindri's house. I first already wanted to go in depth on this system in this video, but that would really make it way too long, so I will touch on it very soon in a New Game Plus focused video. But in short, every item from Kratos now has 4 new upgrade slots, raising the level cap of the game as well. New resources that you can only find in New Game Plus are needed to get these special special upgrades, but there's more, as sometimes upgrading these gear items beyond level 9 gives you gilded coins, which are needed for very powerful new enchantments that are based on existing shield attachments and chest perks. But because these perks are now enchantments we can put on an amulet, we can combine them for the very first time while still wearing a different armor set. So way more build combinations are possible. You will also find new burdens for sale at the blacksmith in these special items step and this just like that level one armor gives you some debuffs like applying a frost effect when using the dodge roll or simply decreasing the amount of health or rage you get. These are available for a small amount of hex silver for if you really want to test yourself. It's crazy how much they added to this new game plus mode and it's not even everything. So Dennis, back to you. Thanks Jordan, I already can't wait to get started on some new builds and redo some of my favorite boss fights. Now you probably want to get some practice in any way before getting to those end game fights and I'm happy to report that the Niflheim arena has seen some huge upgrades. However, these are only available in New Game Plus, so you'll have to reach this realm first before you can access the new features. But you can now pick between playing as Kratos and Atreus, meaning you'll always have a way to play as the boy even outside of his specific story missions. On top of that, you can choose any companion you want as both Kratos and Atreus, meaning we can try out new team-ups that did not exist in the main game. Want to see Atreus and Freya fighting side by side, or a badass team-up between Thor and Kratos? And it's not just more options to help out on your side, as there is a new selection of special and elite enemies you can fight as well. Special enemies are things like Wolver and Traveler, so pretty strong but not on a mini-boss level, and then elite are the real tough foes like Drakkies and Stalkers. You can, by the way, still use this arena to grind experience and unlock more tokens for your skills, something that's even more valuable with the addition of New Game Plus. Because for 10,000 experience, you can upgrade your mods to a plus level as well, enhancing their effects. And just like unlocking mods, you upgrade the skill not the individual mod so upgrading a skill to plus level once means you unlock the upgraded versions of all three mods. Apart from having the required XP there are also no extra steps involved you can simply unlock these plus mods as soon as you want. And you can boost your passive power even more by going after the Nornir chest in New Game Plus as these will reward you with Yggdrasil due to give you a permanent stat increase. Although in my case I had not fully upgraded my health yet so the first one I came across simply gave me a another Apple of Eden. Jordan did upgrade his health fully, so immediately got a plus two strength stat increase from the same chest. Which means it's totally smart to open all these chests in your first playthrough before jumping into New Game Plus. Now next to the addition of New Game Plus and those added features, there's also some new stuff for your regular playthrough, right Joyce? Yes, that's right. After beating the game at least once, you unlock a black and white render mode to give a more cinematic vibe to your playthrough. You can access this by going to the graphics and camera 
camera section in the settings menu and choose to turn it on or off. Now, not everything is lost its color as most of the UI icons are still the same as before, but besides that, you can enjoy this filter while continuing your current playthrough or starting a brand new game. They also added new facial expression options in photo mode for other characters in Ragnarok, like Mimir, who looks like he's hanging in there. But we also got a couple silly ones available for Lunda the Blacksmith, Hildesvini, who you can find in Vanaheim talking to Sif, and do you remember the dwarven musician in Svartalfheim called Rabe? Well, they also added some expressions for him when you visit him again behind the bar of the tavern, which is also amazing. Great tribute to the composer of God of War, by the way. If you didn't already know that, he's modeled after Bear McCreary. So with these new additions, you can even create more funny screens in photo mode while trying out New Game Plus. Again, this New Game Plus update is massive with so many things to still try out, and we will go more in depth on those in a future video, so totally subscribe for more God of War Ragnarok content if you haven't already. A like on this video would really help us out, and if the armor video is already up, you can watch it by clicking on the screen. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!